Hello, friends. I am with my buddy, <laughs> my son, Logan, in my hammock at my house. Um, and I wanted to do a little recap about the message that we talked about last night um, as we kicked off the series Afterlife, exploring the story of Easter, how Jesus died, was buried and came back to life. And we talked about how like there is that real hope that we know that when we follow Jesus after we die, we get to live with him forever. That one day he's going to create a new heaven, a new earth, and we get to live with him in this new earth forever, which is true and awesome. But this whole series that we're doing is really exploring how the resurrection is more than after death. It's actually about life that we can have now after experiencing the resurrected Jesus. And so we talked about this guy named John, um, one of the disciples who Jesus knew and John spent a lot of time with him, probably as a teenager getting to know Jesus. But he, what I love about John is that he spent his life really writing to other people, telling people about his own process and like figuring out what does this all mean? What does it mean that Jesus died? What does it mean that God sent Jesus to die. And in 1 John chapter 4, he writes this cool thing that we shared last night where he says that God is love, that this is the ultimate example of his love, that he sent Jesus to come and die for us. And it's this cool image because I think it helps us to see that the story of the resurrection is not just an event, but it's actually a glimpse into who God is. And for John, the resurrection showed him that God is love. That God loves every single one of us and that nothing we can do can cancel out that love. And so we just kind of were uh, trying to wrap our heads around that last night. And so I want to just keep encouraging you to think through that. That God actually likes you. In fact, he loves you deeply and that nothing you can do can cancel that love. And that he seriously, he seriously loves you. I mean, the fact that he came and died on a cross. And I know a lot of you guys were laughing last night because I did a reference to Hunger Games where Katniss, the main character, makes herself as tribute, volunteers as tribute to save her sister. We said Katniss, when we see her character, we know she doesn't think down on her sister. She doesn't think she's better than her sister. She doesn't think her sister's worthless. That was an example of her sister loving her so much that she was willing to die on behalf of her sister in this book, The Hunger Games. I know a lot of you guys laughed at me about that, but... Um, I think that's such a good example for us, that this shows us that Jesus loves us so very much. So this week, I just want to encourage you, still wrestle with that message, still wrestle with what does that mean for you, that God actually loves you deeply? What does that do for you? How does that change your life? And do you accept it? So this week, just continue wrestling with that. And uh, I hope you come back next week so we can continue talking and uh, just having fun. We had so much fun last night. I miss you all and hopefully see you next week. Bye.